Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to visit the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History and Science in Bakersfield, California. The main reason why we stopped by was a spectacular collection of locally found shark teeth and bones of marine animals. The museum has much more to offer, of course, but we will focus on the fossils representing the time when California was covered by the shallow sea, where marine life was striving. It was approximately 15 to 16 million years ago, during the Miocene period. That, in case you didn't know, was the time when a ferocious predator, a humongous shark called the Megalodon, was at large. The giant jaws were teeth-producing machines, and a single shark could leave behind hundreds if not thousands of teeth, which eventually fall to the bottom, got stuck in marine sediment, mineralized, and nowadays can be found by fossil hunters. It's quite fascinating to think about how many undiscovered shark teeth are still scattered around the hills near Bakersfield. The famous locations are Shark Tooth Hill and Ant Hill. Shark Tooth Hill is known for a variety of species found, over a hundred of them. However, it is the unusually vivid colors and patterns of coloration that make the shark teeth from Bakersfield so attractive to collectors. The specimens in the museum are high quality. Just look at these mecho shark teeth and extinct white shark teeth. They are amazing. My dad told me he almost cried looking at these wonderful finds, and I tend to think it was because he was impressed by the specimens, and not because he forgot his glasses in the car. Filming the fossils through the glass is quite challenging, so forgive us if you see some reflections. We did our best. The collection also has plenty of teeth from snaggletooth shark, tiger shark, and similar species. A bunch of pathological shark teeth. I hope you appreciate the beauty of these gorgeous specimens spectacular fossils, especially if you saw them in real life, not just on video. I fancy teeth with gray stripes and also those that have hues of pink. What are your favorite patterns or colors? Here's a bunch of shark vertebrae still in matrix. Well, if there were predators like sharks, there was prey, and in this case, whales and other marine mammals like sea lions. Few well-preserved whale skulls and skeletons are on display at the museum. This whale skull has a shark tooth in its foramen magnum a hole on the back of the skull through which the spinal cord connects to the brain. A curious find. Here is a display full of jaw fragments with flat, wide teeth, good for grinding. They belong to a hippo-like animal named Paleoparadoxia. It was using these teeth to munch on sea grasses while walking on the sea bottom, quite a long distance from the shore. Ancient sea lions had really formidable teeth, but I'm sure the pups were cute. A mighty beak of a bony tooth bird. It was used to snatch the fish from the water and probably during the flight.
The museum has several rooms with Native American artifacts, dinosaur skeletons, mosasaur skull, petrified wood, and plenty of geological specimens, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you are happening to be in the area, and if you like natural history, I would encourage you to make an hour stop at the museum. It is conveniently located near the highway and easy to find. Please refer to the links in the description to this video for more detailed information about the museum and the Shark Tooth Hill fossil locality. Thanks for watching! We are working on detailed reviews on major types of fossils like ammonites, belemnites, shark teeth, brachiopods, mammoth, and others. So stay tuned and good luck!